So now the 2016 is out of the way. How are the markets setting up for January and beyond? Bob Pisani looks into his crystal ball for us tonight. What's next for the markets? Despite some disappointment about the failure to hit Dow 20,000, the markets enter January in excellent shape. The S&P 500 is less than 1% from an historic high, and most stocks are continuing to advance rather than decline. Good news. The trading community is focused on what will drive markets higher in 2017 and what speed bumps might occur along the way. So there's two topics dominating the conversation. First, is this Trump rally really going to translate into more consumer spending? And second, how much will the expectations of a tax cut in this fiscal stimulus program really make a difference in earnings in 2017? The pragmatists are insisting that investors are wildly optimistic about translating this improved consumer sentiment and hopes for more tax cuts and infrastructure programs into higher earnings. But the optimists are insisting that consumer sentiment and business sentiment surveys are already improving and that even modest tax cuts could increase earnings 10% or more. Now, who's right? Well, the impact on earnings from more consumer spending would be moderate, maybe up 3%, but that's still important. But as we saw this year, the benefits are likely to accrue to a small group of retailers, as well as restaurants, travel stocks, and possibly auto manufacturers. But the impact on earnings from a corporate tax cut across the board, well, that's potentially very significant for everybody. Some estimate it could boost overall earnings as much as 20% for the S&P 500. Finally, the impact from an infrastructure program is likely negligible for 2017. This is very industry specific, mostly around industrials like Caterpillar and materials names. And most agree, this is pretty much a 2018 event. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.